From the baseball diamond to the hardwood we go. We'll be back with the full court press for you all on Friday night. But before we get there, we had some great matchups on tap tonight in the Wilmington City Limits. Let's go out to Viketown Hoggard hosting Coastal Christian in non-conference play. And it was a fast start for the Vikings on the inbound. Anya Massey, nice bounce pass to Claire Emma Britt, and she finishes it off the glass. And that was just the start of a big first quarter for Hoggard. Penetration kick outside. Grace Howell gets the three ball to go from the corner, and that would open up the floodgates from beyond the arc. This time it's Isis Tresvik getting in on the action. She would have a game high 16 points tonight against the Centurions. And the Hoggard girls controlled this one from the tip. They went at 64 20, the final score. Now let's move up to Laney High School. The Bucks taking on Northside Jacksonville tonight, and it was all Laney early on. Picked this one up in the fourth quarter, and look at the ball movement here across the perimeter to Reagan Stewart, and she connects from long range on the left side wing. And second chance opportunities would favor Laney High tonight, and they would take full advantage. Isis Banks spins outside to Peyton Jones from the corner, and that's cash money for the senior. Monarchs trying to stay in the game, and a nice Move here to get into the paint and somehow rolling it home. Ashley Box gets it to go, but it would not end up mattering tonight. The Bucks shot lights out. Jada Simpson getting in on the fun. Blaney rolls over north side. 65-23 the final score. Now let's move on to the boys game now at Bucktown. Laney trying to improve to 2-0, won the conference championship last year in the tournament, taking on the Monarchs. But early on, Northside was running and gunning. Defense turning into offense. Chris Valawas gets it to go the other way. The finger roll over the front of the rim. Laney, though, looking for answers themselves, and it comes from behind the arc. Makoa Surgao gets the Bucks within five with the three ball there. But the Monarchs had an answer nearly right away. The driving kick to Runel Smith for the tray, and Northside would lead this one at the half. Laney would not be denied in the second half. Bucks in transition. Justin Clayton gets the lay-in to go on the reverse. And Laney uses a strong second half to beat the Monarchs. 68-58 the final score. And ending out the night, let's go back to Hoggard High School. A good boys game here. Hoggard taking on Coastal Christian. Two teams that were in the postseason last year. And Hoggard led at the half. But Coastal trying to stay in it. Chaz Banks working in the paint. Gets it to go with the hook shot, but when you're playing the Vikings, one thing you have to do is guard the perimeter. Brady Rankin working off the screen, hits the three ball. He would have another great game tonight. Then later on in the third quarter, Skyler Davies doesn't care about a little contact. Gets the basket and the foul going up hard with that one. But the Vikings once again from behind the arc would prove to be too much tonight. Sebastian Hedera, this one, you betcha. Hoggard would hit nine three balls and they beat Coastal Christian 53-35 to tonight out at Viketon.